family of ski bum here reporting on the October skiing conditions in the Austrian Tyrol. That's right, I've strayed pretty far from my usual patch, but if you want to ski in October, this is the place to be. At this time of year, there's a higher concentration of open piece in this tiny pocket of Austria and Italy than basically anywhere else in the world, even in the Southern Hemisphere, which is of course their winter. So naturally, this is where all the international ski racers come for their autumn training. And indeed, in about a week's time, the first race of the Alpine Skiing World Cup season starts here in Solden. Things got off to a cracking start here in Austria for the ski season. Back in mid-September, there was over two meters of flying snow down to pretty low levels. People were tree skiing on bottomless powder, not that far outside of Salzburg. Of course, much of that snow has melted now, and the High Tyrol didn't quite get as much as further north and east, but still, it got a pretty good dump, and naturally, up here on the glaciers, most of it has survived. Certainly down low, of course, it's all gone now. But thanks to those snowfalls, all five of the glacier resorts here opened on or ahead of schedule, plus the one on the Italian side of the Tyrol. So that's Kunatau, Pitztau, Solden, Stubai Gletscher, and Hintertux, plus Valsnales in Italy. They are now all open, as is Kirsteinhorn in Caprun, further east, and Mittertal, I think. Kunatau, which is the furthest west and smallest of the Tyrolean ski resorts, are reporting a base depth of 30 to 40 centimetres across the mountain. I can confirm that there are places where there's quite a lot less than that, and indeed there are places where there's more than that, but yeah, as an average, it's pretty standard 30 40 centimetres from top to, well, the bottom, which is actually the top car park now. So you can't ski all the way down to the actual base area at 2,000 metres. You have to drive up to the top car park at 2,750 metres. So that is currently the base of the ski area. So they've definitely got the worst and the least snow of all the ski areas at the moment, but still, it's a reasonable start to the season. Pitztal, which is just behind me over there, they're reporting a whopping three metre depth to their snow base, which is crazily impressive. I'm not sure I got that crazy three metre figure from. I must have been looking at an outdated website which hadn't been updated since last winter. But the official website is reporting 60 centimetres base depth at the bottom and 70 centimetres at the top, which is still pretty good. Nowhere near three metres, but yeah, pretty good. And that coverage is extensive as well. So while it may not be a crazy depth, there is pretty good extent to that cover. Things are looking pretty healthy over there. And again, you can ski right from the very top at 3,440 metres, which is the highest lift in Austria, down to about 2,680 metres. So you've got a decent amount of vert there. And the snow conditions are pretty good across all three glacier basins there too. There's also a half decent bank slalom, which is open to the public there, as well as a much bigger border cross, which is reserved just for the professionals right now as well. I believe they're also in the process of constructing the fun part there too. Here in Solden, they're reporting a base depth of 105 centimetres, so just over a metre. And that's pretty uniform all across the ski area. You can ski back down to both Gletscher car parks, so that gives a descent starting at around about 3,300 metres, all the way down to around about 2,600 metres, so again, pretty good vertical. Of course, preparations are well underway for the first weekend of the Alpine Ski World Cup next week, so the, the main World Cup ski piece is pretty much closed off to the public. There's just a tiny little strip you can ski down, and it's bullet hard at the moment perfect for race skis, terrible for touring skis. And as you might expect, the ski area is absolutely full of the international ski teams, both senior and junior, and virtually all the pieces are basically monopolized by ski racers at the moment. So unless you are wanting to train for ski racing, it's probably best not to come here right now, go to one of the other areas. After all the powder of mid-September and early October, freezing levels have now risen pretty high, typically around about 3,400 meters, so around about the height of the top lift. So as such, all that lovely soft snow has gone, it's very much spring snow conditions. Icy when overhead conditions are light today. If the sun does come out, it softens up nicely and you get some really nice spring skiing, especially late morning to early afternoon. But yeah, otherwise it's basically an ice rink at the moment. Now it's been a tiny bit of fresh snow right at the top, but not enough to make any meaningful difference. So certainly in terms of off piece, there's nothing to go at. You need to stick to the piece and hope for a bit of sun to soften everything up if you want to really enjoy the skiing. Or again, bring race skis and carve hard and fast. Here at Stubai Gletscher, the official snow depth is 45 centimetres, although of course it is highly variable. I can tell you now that on some of the lower runs it's much, much thinner than that. But certainly up here on the glacier, the base is pretty good. Most of the upper mountain runs are open, and indeed most of the lifts. There's only a couple on the backside that aren't currently skiable, I think. So you can ski from around about 3,200 metres all the way down to 2,630 metres at the moment, which is one of the mid stations. It's not the official mid station at 2300. It's a long way off being able to ski down to there yet, but there are 
couple of runs open to the mid station at 2600. They are mostly on man made snow, so it is a good solid base, but it's a thin base. So you'd be careful with the old rock poking through here and there, but for now at least it's holding up. Currently the snow is very spring like, lovely and soft. It's great for skiing today, but yeah, obviously the snow lower down will start to suffer towards the end of the day. I'm sure it'll start to get pretty sticky around 3 4 pm, especially if the sun comes back out. They're currently in the process of building the fun park, which I must say looks absolutely huge. Some of the biggest kickers with the steepest landings I've ever seen. There's also like a, a kiddie fun park, which is they've also built as well, which is much more amenable. But yeah, the main fun park is basically a pro line. Everything there is huge. It's not yet open. The snow looks pretty filthy. So I'm guessing they're going to be waiting for more fresh snow before they actually open it. But yeah, the jumps are all shaped. Many of the rails are in place and it's not that far off being ready to go. Last, but by no means least, we have Hintertux in the Zillertau region. This is the furthest east of the Austrian Tyrolean ski areas and arguably the biggest. Here they're reporting a snow depth of 85 centimetres and while there is a few places where it's getting scraped quite thin towards the glacier, on the whole, the base is holding up pretty well. If freestyle is your thing and you're a bit of a park rat, then this is definitely the place to be. It's an absolutely huge fun park with a line of massive kickers and virtually every kind of box and rail you can think of. So, of all the areas, this is the best place to come for freestyle. There's also a proper moguls track set up, well that's presumably reserved for the professionals. And of course there's all the obligatory slalom and GS gates as well. You can ski from the top lift at around about 3,250 metres, down to one of the mid stations at 2,680 metres. So it's got pretty good vertical and it's got massive acreage. This big glacial basin between the two peaks is just massive expanse of wide open, flat green pieces. So Across the Tyrol, there's not many meaningful snow now in at least the last two weeks. Indeed, there's even been a little bit of rain. So one truly expects spring conditions, not powder. There's also not any meaningful snow in the forecast, at least the next week, which does mean that things might start to look a little bit lean and we might actually lose some terrain before we start gaining terrain for the winter. But never fear, it's still been a pretty good start to the season and we've got far more snow this time now than we had the last two seasons, which bodes well for the rest of the winter. I've been making my way slowly back towards Chamonix direction now. And I'll be resuming my weekly snow reports in and around Chamonix basically as soon as anything to report. So if you want to stay up to date with how the snow conditions are developing across the Western Alps, then you know what to do.